Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do another quick tag in my tag journal. This will be what it is. We're going to use some watercolors from Amazon. These are good. I really like them. So, let me get everything put together and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, the tag that I made is like, it's mm, watercolor, but watercolor paper pad that I bought from Walmart. Um, I'm using Art Basics Clear Gesso. It's very fine. I love it. Um, it, it it's on there, but it, it's not like super rough. Um, I use it in a lot of my Bible journaling. And since we have these purples, I, I still want to go for a night sky, but I don't want it to be like too dark. No. I'm not in the shot. I probably was. I need my tweezers. So I'll pick things up. And my water bottle. So let me move those out of the way so that when I spray the water, let me wet my palette down. And this is the palette that it is. I love the colors. They're very vibrant. This is the piece of watercolor paper they give to you to swatch your colors. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to bring this over here, I'm going to find my colors, so I think I will go with, what is this, that's my blue-gray and my indigo, and I might add a little bit of ultramarine so it'll be this this not that that's too purple so my blue gray my indigo and the where is the very blue anyway let's get started and have some fun I'm gonna wet my palette with my water brush my water bottle And I'll just clean up the edge so that I don't get too much blue into my reds or anything. I have this large round that I got from Target. I'll wet my brush. I'm going to put just a little bit of water down on my tag. And I will pick up my blue-gray and drop it on where I want it so that it spreads and does a really nice job of covering what I need covered. Yes, it's going to buckle on me. That's okay. I'll just hold it. Or I'll just move it and let it do its own thing. I'll add some more water. Because I know with all the purples, let me make sure I can, I am where you can see me good enough. Let me move that just a little bit. Sorry for the shaking. But as you can see, it's It'll move to the edges and things like that, which is fine. I need to add more. Now I'm going to go next to it, which is my indigo, and I'll put that in there. Let it mix. I'll add a little sprinkling of water. And I will just get something to hold the middle down. 
like a skewer. That way it allows everything to move around. Or I can just put it on where I want it, hit it with some the spray bottle of water again to let it move. I'll clean this out with some water. I'll come back into the blue gray. Put that in there again. It's just about playing with what you have. Nothing else. And I'll even mix it a little bit. Why not? I'm just going for a somewhat of a night sky. And... I'll just pick up some intense blue. Why not? Because I'm going to put white splashes, things like that, in it. So I'll go back into the blue gray to add some over here. I know it doesn't look like a galaxy. That's all right. My galaxy may look different from everybody else's. So, I'm just gonna grab this corner, pick it up, and let some stuff run. Why not? All right, I'm gonna dry this real quick. I'll be right back. All right, now, I do like the way that looks, but I want to add a little bit of a different color. Why not? It's mine. I'm going to put like a Prussian blue just in some of the areas. And I'll just drag it. Why not? And I'll bring it down here. Because what I'll do is I'll hit it with the spray bottle and make it move. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. The lighting is probably not optimal, but I can move it around enough to where I like the way it is. I'll dry that. Okay, we dried it. That's what it looks like. I'm, I'm really liking that. I'm wondering if I should put just a little bit of purple in it. Mm. No. So, what I'm going to do is make a mess, as usual, with some white splatters. But I'm going to open up this old paper towel just to try to limit the mess that it makes on me. I'm going to just take the one that I homemade one that I made, shake it up good. I'm wanting so bad to put some purple in there, but that's just not let me turn this over because it's going everywhere but on my tag. If I have to turn my tag a little bit, I'll turn it. Hold it up a little closer. That looks good. And then maybe I'll grab an old fan brush. Let me move my watercolors out of the way. And I'll just put a little bit on here just to pick it up and put little ones but that didn't give me very much hmm. let's be crazy I'll just stick this in there there we go there's the tiny ones that I'm looking for
for the very far away ones. I like that. All right, and I'll dry the white little dots, splashes, whatever you want to call them, real quick. Okay, now I also have this pigment ink versifying. Um, I got it on clearance because it's broken, but it doesn't really affect the pad itself. And I just have a makeup sponge. And what I think I'll do is I'll go around my moon to define that better. And I'll go around my saying just to give it, and I may even go around the edge. So let's, let's first try the moon. I'll just put some on there. I like that because it's got the blue. That looks good. Plus I'll get rid of any white edge. And it blends it nice. That looks nice. So let's see what we can get for the edge on here. That looks good. I like the color. It looks nice. I'll tell you what the color is here in one second. It's a very beautiful blue though. This color is, it's called Paradise. And might as well just go around the stars. I'm not crazy about the color of the stars, but that's what was in the paper pad. Art with Marlene. That's what I'm using. I'll show you the pad here in a second. I believe it's the one that says never stop looking up, but I'll show you the pad real quick. Let's just, and I'll go around the outside of the tag also to give that an edge. I mean, you can go around it with a black marker, give it a different border. Um, I'm just gonna put a darker border of blue around it. And I like that. I can even throw in some of this ink that's on here, in here. Give it a little more depth. Just make sure you're not putting it where you have your, your white splashes. That looks good. That gave it a really nice different look. Let me close this back up. I just keep a rubber band around it since this part's broken. Same. And this is the paper pad I'm using. That's the block number. I got these on joggles.com, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere. All right, so let's glue this down. I have my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. It's got a very ultra fine tip. You can use any glue you want. Any glue works. So I'm just gonna manipulate my tag a little bit. I'll move that out of the way because I don't need it. I'm going to put some glue on it. Put that there. I'm going to put her there. Put that there. Well, I might. Go there. Put that there. And put that one there. I like that. That works. Let me just put some glue on here real quick. I'm going to tilt her just a smidge to my stars and put it that way and then I'll come down here with the little one 
and put this one like this. Now you must always remember to put the needle back in this tiny little thing. Now we can take, I've got a big bucket of markers, take a white pen and give it some highlights so that it's not all super dark. Um, give her a better highlight in the eyes. Give her one on the lips. I can go around this, the white pen. I can add some stars. I want. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. You can add a border. Let me find a paint pen. Gotta shake it up. It's just a Craft Smart one from Michaels. Um, you can go any type of border you like. I mean, you can do anything you want. It's your, it's your card. It's your art journal. You can just add a border if you want. You can come in. Do some little hash marks on her. You can go around her some more if you want. Um, it's all the same. It's all fine. It's all your artwork. But that's our card for the day. Let me turn it this way. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you want. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. And thank you for the great comments. Um, you're all amazing people. Um, always remember, moonlight is proof that there will always be light in the darkness. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.